the world. Welcome to this series of programming or web development. This is tutorial of HTML and CSS. Or generally, more specifically, is HTML5 and CSS3, which is the mo most current version of HTML and CSS. So this is video zero. Okay, the reason I don't vi use video one, because it turns out most of the programming language is zero as their first number. Okay, so we, we will dive into deeper later on. So welcome to this computer journey. This is video zero. Let's learn about what is HTML. HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language, or HTML for short. HTML it helped to make up the actual web page. Okay, actual web content. For example, I'm gonna pull out a random page, a Khan Academy page. What the actual content mean is the text, like the mathematical one, and advanced JavaScript part of speech. The actual text is made up by HTML. Okay, and of the text in here, which is more text, the text is made by HTML. And HTML is made up by tags. What that means is you can use this tool. HTML is made by tags. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, we are using uh, codepen.io as a word as our online programming uh, cloud. So I'm going to put out the um, web page, example web page on the, uh, uh, on the codepen.io and the link will be available in the description. Okay, so as you can see, okay, as you can see, there's a bunch of code, but not every code is written by me. Most of them is written by uh, codepen.io. But from this part, you can see they're made up by tags. For example, we have title tag, we have h1 tag, we also have a p tag, we also have a mystery ol tag, and a HTML tag. And all of these tags, we will go over as we moving on into our programming journey. And you can see there's a cool tool, like if you highlight here, you're going to show the text in the developer tool, okay? So this is HTML. And now we're going to, and for this page, the HTML content is right here. Not so much, only 26 lines, but they made up all the content as you can see right there. Also, we're gonna learn some CSS through our journey here. C CSS stand for Cascading Style Sheet. Okay, so as you can see from the name, CSS is for styling the website. Let's back with our Khan Academy example. This uh, background image you can use CSS. Well, actually, you can use HTML. Will depend. But you can see if I hover through my um, strike date, it's gonna show me this content. This you can create by hover element or pseudo classes in CSS. And you can see more like this image and the circle and the blue button, white text, black text, and different colors, like special especially colors, are made up by CSS. Uh, this web content my example web page is only has seven line of um, actually only six actual line, but CSS, CSS code and properties. And as you can see, I do make what do I use? So what do I use CSS for? We're not going to dive really deeper into this web uh, in this video yet, but we're gonna just 
take a general overview. This red text is made by uh, CSS. And these two line, these two paragraphs, as you can see, have different font than uh, these lines. And I use the CSS properties for that also. Okay? So, this series is about totally beginner tutorial on HTML and CSS. If you have any question, you, if you want, you can comment below and I, I will try to answer it as much as possible. And welcome to the programming journey with me. And remember to say hello to the world. Thank you.